up everybody welcome to your sixth tutorial in CSS last time we talked about relationship among tags and this time we're going to be talking about more about descendant selectors now last time we had a relationship with just two elements but there's no limit to how many elements you can have in a chain of relationships for example we had something like this two elements and we just had a, a simple declaration now what this would do is apply the color red to all the heading ones if they were inside the div tags but you could also do something like this what this would do is apply the color red to all the heading ones only if they were in paragraphs only if they were in tables and only if all that was embedded in the div tag. Now your chain can go on for however long you want as long as the soonest was an ancestor of the earliest one you should be alright. Now another neat thing you can do is include the universal selector when using these basic descendant selectors. And remember the universal selector is any asterisk or a symbol above the 8 and what this would do right here is apply all the elements under the div tag the color red and this is one way you can combine the universal selector with other selectors to format elements on your web page and the last thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about in terms of selectors is something some way where you can combine different selectors for instance this would change the paragraph to the color red the text and you can also combine this with a descendant selector such as this as you can see this would change the heading one as long as it is included in the div tag to the color red and it would also change all paragraphs no matter where they were to the color red. So as you can see there's a lot of different ways to use these descendant selectors in conjunction with other selectors. And next time we're going to be talking about how descendant selectors to apply in other ways. But for now that's all the time we have. So if you missed anything that I went over today you can go to my website thenewboston.com and I'll talk about it and give you a step-by-step -step instruction. Thanks.